The subject is the goddess Simhamukha. Simhamukha is a female meditational deity uh, in Tantric Buddhism and very popular in the art, in Himalayan art. Um, she has a lion face, two arms, two legs. She stands in a dancing posture on her left leg with the right leg somewhat raised. In her right hand she holds a curved knife and in the left she holds a, a skull cup. Typically she's blue, but she can also be other colors. There are different forms of her. She can be uh, solitary, or she, she can be in a three-deity configuration, or five-deity, or more, and she can have different colors. So, Simhamukha is, is actually coming from India. It was a Lotsawa named Bari Lotsawa, Rinchendrak who brought uh, the practice of Simhamukha as a meditational deity to Tibet. And uh, it is uh, said to be based on the Chakrasambara uh, cycle of Tantras. Uh, hence, she is also known as Dakini Simhamukha. D the term Dakini uh, is more properly used with the, the wisdom Tantras, the mother Tantras of the highest uh, form of uh, of, of the four categories of Tantra, the highest of the four categories. So, Simhamukha is a meditational deity, uh, and she became very popular, and even within the Sarma traditions, and then the Nyingma traditions began to create uh, revealed treasure of, of this figure as well, and even incorporated Simhamukha into the theory of outer, inner, and secret forms of Padmasambhava, with the Simhamukha being the secret form of Padmasambhava. Now, there are some potential confusions that arise with Simhamukha. Uh, first of all, the name. In, in Western scholarship, and Western also meaning India in the, in the 20th century, the name Simhavaktra is used quite a lot in publications. And from my research, this is primarily coming from uh, Raghu Veera and uh, Lokesh Chandra's publications, whereas in fact, the, the Sanskrit Simha Vaktra, the Vaktra is not used by, uh, by Buddhists. And how we know that is because of all of the mantras and ritual texts that were translated from Sanskrit to Tibetan, uh, they clearly use the word Simha Mukha. So the Mukha is referring to the face of the lion, the Simha, Simha Mukha. Now, other confusions can arise with, with thinking that the attendant deity to the figure of Sri Devi, who also has a lion face, is the same deity. And th this is not the case. You, you'll find many, many instances of female uh, deities in Tantric Buddhism in all sorts of mandala configurations, but they are not the same person. They, they are different, uh, essentially different entities with different histories and different origin stories. So, so it's very important to always understand what is the context of what you are looking at in terms of a sculpture or a painting or a religious system. What is the context of that tradition? So that's basically Simhamukha.